Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well. This video is for us, professional pianists who have been playing piano under much pressure for so, so long. Because we are on the top rate of pianists who would struggle to get this very sensation of loose hands. When you're told that you need to play with relaxed and loose hands, but you still feel like you cannot get the sensation, this is what you need to know. You already know this sensation, but surprisingly you could never consider it as a proper way of playing. This is a sensation of playing with weak hands. Just like you would touch the keyboard for the very first time after recovering from sickness. With very gentle touch, with no effort at all, very careful just like you would touch a butterfly and it would look something like this loose weak empty tone loose weak empty hands and yes you can play with the same sensation loud and fast and i will explain how to do this in a minute now, the reason why you could never consider it as a proper way of playing is because playing this way wouldn't let you control your tone and fingering. Unevenness of tone, unevenness of fingers, that's what you would get playing this way. And to control yourself, you would start pressing the key harder because that's the only known way for you to control fingers. Something like this. almost every muscle that you have to press just one light 50 gram key and with all that effort and heaviness that you put into playing you would wonder why I can't play fast how can I train my fingers to move faster why am I so tense pour your hands <laughs> what you need to do instead is completely loose up your hands but find the way to control your tone and fingers not by tensing your muscles but by slightly preparing exactly those muscles that are directly responsible for tone production and that's usually the main problems because teachers wouldn't explain how to do this moreover instead hearing that weak and um, uneven tone they would ask you to play with more effort in a way press the key harder letting you believe that this is a correct way of playing and that's usually how it starts and most probably it started even in your very early age when you cannot even remember it and by now you completely forget what is a true sensation of touching keys but enough of explanation let me just clearly break it down for you to five main aspects of tone production that will change your image of playing forever first always play with weak and light hands second rewind your mind to understand that you don't control your tone and fingers by unconscious tension of your arms and body but by focusing mostly on your internal singing and imagination your hands don't exist they are just following your mind third when you're playing with relaxed hands there is no blockages of tension in your arms and energy is freely flowing to your fingertips so you will start developing your fingertips that will let you release any tension right after you touching the key and still letting you cling to the key fourth Imagining sound before playing will create some kind of sensation over here and that will let you feel that you're kind of already holding the energy of sound here before touching the key. Also, you will notice that you are not playing on the bottom of the key bed anymore but somewhere in the middle of the key and that will benefit you effortless as well because FYI, to create the sound, we don't really have to press the key till the very end. And fifth, when you want to play louder, you don't have to tense your arms, you don't have to press the key more. You still slightly touch the key, like when you're playing soft, but using your intonation and weight 
will bring natural body weight to the keyboard and that will naturally increase your sound. Something like this. So my hand is still very weak and light, but this weight of the body brings so much power to my tone. So the bottom line is, playing with weak hands is not going to look pretty in the beginning. There will be uneven tone, there will be uncontrollable playing, but don't be afraid to play this way, because after some weeks, your intonation and imagination will navigate your touch, letting you start using your hand muscles in the most efficient way. And for those of you who have no idea what is imagination and intonation, I will include a couple of videos in the description below. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.